so I am getting ready to go to Joanne Fabrics. I want to make a pair of shorts, but it looks like a skirt. It's a McCall's pattern that came out in 2020. And I think it's so cute. I made it before, but this time I want to make it in some denim fabric. Here is my sewing make outfit of the day. This is a new look dress pattern turned into a top and some McCall's knit pants. Look at this denim fabric that they had in the store. I love it. It has all these little pearls all over it. The sun is bright, so I'm going to have to hold these up here so you can see. So I just picked up two fabrics. One is this olive colored denim. So last year I made two garments in this denim. So I thought maybe I'll get a little more to make a top. And then I just picked up this other plain denim no print on it or anything and I'm gonna use this for the shorts and that light colored denim in there with the pearls on it I thought that that was so so cute but I was trying to think of how you would remove the pearls so that you wouldn't sew over them because they were like really secure in there so I don't know how that would work but it was a cute fabric Grace from Sewing with Grace, she was the first one to mention to me that buttons are 99 cent at Hobby Lobby and I had no idea. So I did pick up six new buttons and they match really well with the olive denim. I only spent $2.15. Yes, so I'm happy about that. And thank you, Grace. Thank you so, so much. These red lines are the stitching lines. These lines were transferred over from the pattern piece and this is where the elastic casing will go through the front and also on the back of the shorts. I have the overlay pieces basted to the front and back of the skirt 
now or shorts now I'm going to make sure the overlay pieces are out of the way so I'm gonna like hide them on the inside and then stitch the side seams together this is coming together pretty quickly I think the longest part so far was going around these edges making a narrow hem I just realized that these lines should be on the right side of the fabric because you're supposed to fold this edge down and then stitch along these lines but they're on the wrong side so what I'm gonna do is do a basting stitch across this and then that way I can see it on the other side and then I'll go ahead and stitch it down after I get the basting stitch all the way around so it's going to be okay it's gonna be all right so I have my basting stitch on and I'm just going to stitch all the way around all the red markings and in that way I should be able to see the stitching line from the opposite side okay let me tell you all over Christmas break I went out to eat with my family we went to this Chinese food restaurant I ordered rice and some mushrooms and I was eating and all of a sudden I bit down on something really hard and I spit it out and I looked at it and I did not know what it was so turns out it was a piece of my tooth that chipped off while I was eating. <gasps> so, I'm saying all that to say, I went to the dentist and I got it repaired, but it's a two-step process. So I'm on my way to the dentist right now for the second step. And I brought my little pair of shorts with me because I'm at the point where all I need to do is thread the elastic through the casing and I figure if I get to the dentist early, I can sit in the lobby and just kind of work on the shorts to kind of cut down on what I have to do when I get home. But after I get the elastic in there, then all I have to do is hem the shorts and then I will be all finished. Here is the final skirt, or actually shorts. I keep wanting to call it a skirt, but it's actually shorts, but it does look like a skirt from the front and also from the back. This is a 2020 pattern, and it only called for three pattern pieces. I made view A. It's rated as easy. And as you can see here, the wrong side of the fabric does show for the side tie. So that's something just to keep in mind if you want to make this, but you don't want the fabric to show on the wrong side over here. But yeah, this is the skirt, And I can't wait to wear this when it warms up outside. I just got this utility card in the mail that I purchased from Amazon. I think this is gonna be great for when I'm walking around going from room to room with my pattern and my fabric and my Notion box. So yeah, I'm excited. My husband's putting this together for me right now. Having this all together just makes me want to organize my little box. So I have this box of notions and it is a mess in here but maybe I can organize everything and then I really like this caddy or whatever this is called because it has a drawer in it so I thought that that was cool and this comes in different colors and you can get more than three tiers if you want more than three tiers and then you can pull on it to take it from room to room which is what I'll be doing and I'll put a link to this if you're interested I ended up taking everything out of this caddy so that I can find a new home for everything. This is what I have so far. I put the cutting tools, some measuring tools, pin cushion, and a laser level there. In the drawer, I just put these rocks that I like to use as pattern weights. 
and this is some marking paper that I use for marking darts and things like that and these are the little wheels that you use with the tracing paper some tape and chalk and markers and pens and then I have my really heavy pattern weights here and then I have these extra shelves that I can put something on if I'm going to be working in another room I can take some fabric and a pattern and just put it on one of these shelves and then roll everything into the other room and get started this is made out of plastic it's not as sturdy as some of the other ones that are made out of metal but for my purposes I think it's gonna be just fine <laughs> 